Hi, my name is William Harrod Spear, and I'm here today to talk to you about a charity whose mission is undeniably vital to the needy children and their families here in the metro Detroit area. That charity is CATCH. CATCH, which stands for Caring Athletes Team for Children's and Henry Ford Hospitals here in metro Detroit. Um, it was founded by former Detroit Tigers manager, Sparky Anderson, back in 1987. Um, this organization helps provide funding and assistance for families who have needy children, but cannot come up with all the necessary resources to provide everything that the child will require along the way. Finding these resources can be a huge burden on families who struggle every day just to provide the necessities for their loved one. So being the avid reader that I am, just the other day I was scrolling through the Detroit News archives online and I came across an article with a rather disturbing headline. That headline was that Detroit is the worst major city for childhood poverty in the United States. Not the second worst, not the third worst, but the worst major city for childhood poverty in the United States. Now, 44% of Michigan children living in low income families, according to the National Center for Children in Poverty, or NCCP, uh, to me, the way I interpret this is that childhood poverty in the area or children of low income families only magnifies the need for a charity such as Catch to be actively present in our community. Just recently, I had a conversation with a mother whose daughter receives treatment at Henry Ford Hospital for cerebral palsy. For those of you that don't know, cerebral palsy is a term used for a group of non-progressive disorders of movement, movement and postures caused by abnormal development of or damage to motor control centers of the brain as defined in the Gale Encyclopedia of Medicine. During this conversation, she had explained to me how she has been working two jobs for the last couple of years just to cover all of the medical treatment that her insurance does not cover. Um, currently, her daughter is insured under what is called CHIP or Children's Health Insurance Plan. It is funded primarily from federal and state tax dollars. Her cerebralpalsy.org. Um, however, this insurance does not cover the cost of different things such as crutches, wheelchairs, handicap accessible transportation, or handicap accessible upgrades needed at a personal residence, such as a ramp leading up to the door. So for a low-income family with government-sponsored health insurance, trying to cover all necessities is like trying to cross a bridge that is only three-quarters of the way built. That is where catch comes into play with everything that they do. In the short term, I'm advocating for this family to receive proper resources so they can equip their home and vehicles to be wheelchair accessible and to relieve some of the burden that this mother faced on a daily basis, trying to get her child to and from places. For the long term, I would like to see this family, along with countless others, have access to what is called spinal anesthesia for orthopedic surgery. Now, this is a procedure designed to give children with cerebral palsy more mobility. For the U.S. National Library of Medicine and National Institutes of Health, this procedure has a high success rate in children with cerebral palsy and helping them 
to be able to be more mobile in their future. While many of us get to experience the simple pleasures of taking our dog for a walk or riding a bike, there are multiple children and families all across Detroit and all across Michigan and the U.S. for that matter, where these things are merely an afterthought, faced with worrying how they're going to balance medical expenses along with putting food on the table. That's why organizations like Catch are so vital in our society today. So after listening to all of the information I've provided you here today, and with the holiday, holiday season upon us, a time of giving and a time to be spent with family and loved ones, I am urging you to keep these children and their families in your thoughts and prayers and to alleviate some of the burden they, are, they may be facing down the road. I am going to donate $1,000 of my own money towards Catch Foundation, and I encourage all of you to do the same. Thank you.